Shalom, first and foremost, I'm going to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rechah HaKwadash. Yahweh is the only name, the only true powerful and holy name of who people even refer to as God. In a likewise manner, Yahweh Shah, the only true powerful and holy name of who people ignorantly refer to as Christ. Um, double honors to the apostles, the elders, the bishops, the great millstone who rule well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. This is the brother Yeshaya, part of Men of Valor, South Carolina. And this lesson right here is going to be about the fear of the Lord. Now, we are coming into some times, you know, um, of Jacob's trouble, which is the uh, is a very important time because this time is prophesied to happen before the kingdom comes. OK, this uh, place has to be um, like the scriptures say, um, it's like uh, scourges for amendment. OK, so this, the things that we've been seeing, the pestilence, uh, you know, um, the uprising of the people, you know, um, and, and just all the judgment that the Lord is putting on this place, man, means that the, his uh, return is imminent. OK, so this time that we're in right now is a very important time because it's the time. It's uh, the reason why Yahweh went on that cross and he did what he had to to be risen on the third day. For us to have that in between the first covenant and the second covenant, all right, that in between that grace and that mercy period, and that that time is uh fastly uh, closing. Okay, so hey, it's time to repent, man. So uh, you know, a lot of our people are not fearing the Most High, not fearing uh the Lord, and um, you know, they're gonna get their judgment. So you know, this uh the scriptures, you know, it's tens of hundreds of. Uh, scriptures that talk about the fear of the Lord. So I just pinpointed my favorite ones that I think of off the top of my head. Don't want to make this too long. Um, El Apostle uh, um, Gabar did a very beautiful lesson um, on, very, very edifying lesson on the fear of the Lord. It being the uh, most important thing. So um, here it is right here, Proverbs 9 and... Verse 10, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So to know the Lord, you have to fear the Lord, man. All right. This is the same Lord um, that was referred to as uh, Alashabia before his name was uh, magnified in the earth at that time. OK, terrible, uh, terrible demon like power. OK, that was one of his uh, aliases, man. He, this is the same um, entity. This is the same power that flooded. The whole known earth, okay, at that time. So it is it is it is in your best interest, I would say, to fear the Lord, man. And and like the scriptures say, like I'm gonna read it again, Proverbs nine and ten. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So fearing the Lord, fearing His law, statutes, commandments, this is the beginning of wisdom, okay, the beginning of wisdom, man. And then from the fear of the Lord, everything else just falls into place. Following the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability, because that's how you ultimately gonna. You know, follow the law, statutes, commandments, fearing that if you go off from them or divert from them, you will get judged. OK, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. OK, and while I'm in the book of Proverbs, let's go um, to the first chapter and verse seven. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So the majority of these people on the planet Earth right now, they are in their folly, they're surfeiting, they're rioting, they're in drunkenness, these other philosophies, Christianity, um, Catholicism, well, you name it, okay? They're, um, you know, they're, they're gone, all right? But us, okay, we fear the Lord. And these uh, fools, they despise the wisdom, the knowledge, and understanding, okay, that the Lord has set his prophets up to divulge to the people, to relate to the people. OK, because this uh, this understanding, OK, is from the most high It's from the top. OK, it comes from the heavens. This is not nothing that a man has made, just as Gamaliel um, stated when he was taken up for the apostles. OK, um, if if this uh, doctrine is or if this is of men, OK, then it won't stand. But, uh, um, you know, if it's not of men, then you will find yourself fighting against uh, God, you know, uh, fight against the most high. Roughly paraphrasing. So, hey, Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And this is talking about these uh, um, also these uh, false these false prophets that are out here in Israel, man. All right. Telling uh, leading the flock astray. OK, to do that and to take a Judas purse, to take um, a bag a 501c3 charter or whatnot to water down the word, you don't have the fear of the Lord. And it's 
scary because we can't control if we fear the Lord. It's in the elect. It's in certain of us just to fear the Lord. Like, there's nothing. This is the Lord's show. We're all just uh, actors. Are, uh, not actors. Um, where we're all just, you know, characters, so to say. We're characters. All right. And this is the Lord's movie. And the elect were... You can't make yourself part of the elect. The elect were, you know, um, the elect were made to be the elect uh, at the beginning of, before the foundations of the earth, man. All right. So, uh, yeah, Second Corinthians uh, 5 and 11, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God. And our trust also are made manifest in your conscious, consciences. It's like I always have a problem with that word. Consciences. Consciences. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, this is the reason why brothers are doing these lessons. Why the brothers are on the highways and the byways and the hedges, man. All right, we fear the Lord and we're looking for a reward. Just as Apostle uh, Haram Aramlop, he um did a lesson. Uh, he went live earlier today. Um, you know, we shall receive a reward, which I think I might do a re uh, a response to it. Okay, this is why we we're uh, doing what we do to receive a a, a prize from the Lord, man. OK, to receive salvation. OK, because salvation is basically being saved from those thermonuclear missiles. That's what salvation is to be saved. What are we saved from? OK, no. Hey, he that do it to the end, the same shall be saved. So salvation is, you know, doing what we got to do. So in the time of Jacob's trouble and also in the time of uh, that, that uh, the great tribulation. All right. Um. You know, uh, what is that? Revelation the third chapter. Um, yeah, we, we're looking for the, the Lord to, you know, be with us in that day, man. So we won't take that karagma so that we won't do uh, detestable things because we are, um, are, you know, we don't have any food or, you know, just just wait in on the Lord, man. OK, and Jacob's trouble is going to show you who the elect are. He said the elect are going to laugh in that time. And it's going to be such a terrible time, man. But we fear the Lord and we know that his his words are going to come to pass. It says no jot or tittle shall um, pass away. All right. Hey, the Lord, every prophecy that's in this book is going to come to pass. You know, no jot, uh, none shall fail. Okay. And none shall want her mate. All right. And that's not talking about vultures. <laughs> that's talking about uh, all other books, man. Okay. So let's move on to the book of Ecclesiastes. I ain't want to make this too long. I'm almost done. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. All right. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So just because, uh, you know, uh, you do something wrong and you go off and you're not judged automatically. OK, wicked men take that. You know, we're talking about the wicked of our people because, I mean, hey, the perpetual wicked, um, the other nations and E. Hey, they're just going to go off. It, it is what it is. They're going to go off. They're going to do what they do. That's what, you know, that's what the Lord programmed them to do. But we're talking about uh, the, the ones of Israel, okay, that's, uh, you know, getting paid to uh, water down the word, to lead the flock astray, okay, and then want to come back and double back when shit hits the fan, but it's going to be too late. You already got blood on your hands, man, okay? Because a uh, sentence against an evil work is not execu executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set on them to do evil. So just because, you know, the Lord is not uh, uh, putting you to death for, um, you know, leading the flock astray right when you say the first word or when you even think about leading the flock astray, that doesn't mean that he, he ain't going to uh, get you, man, in the long run. Okay, so, hey, man, the, the fear of the Lord. I don't want to go into something else, but, uh, yeah, the fear of the Lord. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So the whole duty of man is to fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh okay, and keep the commandments, okay, simply put, okay, but you got a lot of people that don't fear the Lord, and, hey, they're just going to get destroyed, you know. Like I said, this book is uh, filled with um, scriptures about, you know, fearing the Lord. I'm just going to pick out. Uh, I got two more. Um, my favorite ones. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy power, Yahweh, require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Okay? So there you go, man. Hey. Fear, you have, um, 
you know, uh, El Apostle Bar was getting down the other day. Hey, man, fear, you rather, like, with your woman. All right, it's one thing to, uh, to for your woman to love you, okay? But then, hey, fear, you want your woman to fear you, man, because then if she fears you, she's not going to even think about committing adultery or do this or do that. And fear is a part of love. Now, we have a healthy fear of the Lord, which is part of the love. Just as it said in Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy power require of thee but to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways and to love him? See? The fear comes first and then that's part of the love. And to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee to this day for thy good. Okay? The scriptures say uh, keep the commandments and live. To the best of your ability, of course, because hey, that's why you can't take away from what Yahweh Shai did. He gave us that uh, 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 gray area, for lack of better words, okay? That grace and that mercy. And uh, this is the last one. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 34 and verse 9. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him, okay? The saints talking about the elect, okay? Uh, the Israelites are all saints, okay? But hey, that uh, Israel of God, that elect, those are his saints that are going to get through the thermonuclear missiles that are going to be on the chariots that, hey, some are going to have to die, and, and, but still be risen up to meet the Hawashah in the air, you know? But, yeah, um, yeah, Psalms 34 and 9. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him, and we're coming into a time where we're going to have to fully depend on the Lord, and we're going to be in one of all things, and we're not going to be... Uh, we, and, and the mind state that we should be in is not to be dependent on Esau, okay? We're going to have to uh, de depend on Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, to get us through Jacob's trouble, to get us through the hour of temptation, and ultimately, uh, you know, Lord willing to be part of that elect that's going to, you know, be saved and uh, reach those uh, chariots, okay? So that's it. Uh, Lord willing, it was edifying, giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakaha Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And our peace, love, salutations, blessings to the Lord's elect. Till next time, Shalom.